Hi everyone, it is Cara, welcome back to another video. This is January's unboxing video. So let's check this out. I already have it facing me. Okay, oh, we have another blue. So last time was like a darker, more wintry blue. Whereas this one's a bit softer, a bit brighter blue. This is a pretty color, I like this color a lot. Um, and it has, oh, okay, I'm gonna go look at that too much. I'm gonna look in the, look in the bag. So this is a makeup remover that you can clean, which is really cool. I have a few of the cotton pads um, I bought from um, Holland and Barrett, and I use them to clean my face. So this is a similar type thing, it's like a glove, which is cool. I got one of these before in a kind of beauty box. I was using it in the UK and I did like it. Um, so here's another one, that's good. And this is a peeling pad. What's a peeling pad? Oh, it's like a face mask, I think. Remove year old, years old impurities. Easy to use, superb peeling pad with various fruit oils, herb extracts to remove makeup residue, fine dust and dead cells for naturally glowing and purified skin. Um, gently rub the white cotton side on the pad on your dry face in a circular motion. Okay, so it's not like a face mask exactly, like you just kind of like use it to scrub your face, I think. That's cool, I'll definitely use that and I think I'll use it soon. My skin has been a bit of a mess as of late so that is going to probably get used this week <laughs> this one latte naturals morgan eye serum let's have a look start your morning with this soothing under eye serum gives your eyes the boost they need a rich serum tinting caffeine oils okay i will try this but on a day where i'm not at work so it's like another oil um I'll try this on a day that I'm not at work because caffeine can sometimes trigger my vertigo. Not always, like I can have cups of tea and things because even though there's more caffeine in it, the way it releases is different to coffee. So I can't drink normal coffee, I have to have decaf and um, so I might have to be careful with this, especially with it being near my eyes. But I will try this maybe tomorrow because it's a bank holiday tomorrow. Okay, I'll, I'll maybe try it tomorrow if I remember. Um, but that sounds good because I get quite dark under my eyes because I'm so pale. So if I'm tired, especially this eye, it gets really purple. Um, looks like I've been punched in the face. So I'll try that and see if that works for me. What are you? You are a spray of some sort. Texture spray. Okay, so a bit like that champagne spray I got, which I do like. I've used a couple times when I've done my hair like this. Um, I do it quite a bit having my hair like in the whips. I don't normally tie it up when it's in a wave um, so you guys will have to let me know what you guys think as my hair falls out um, are we done? are we done? okay I got the, there was a few videos ago we had like a champagne texture spray so it looks like this is a similar kind of thing and I use that quite a bit when I'm braiding my hair wet so that I can have like waves for longer so I will definitely use that, that is a very useful product for me. Um, okay, last product, it's normally five in these boxes. Oh, it's a, I didn't know whether it was a spray or not. So it's this Dirty Lamb again. They had a product from these guys last time. It was the, um, the night oil. Uh, tea Tree Wand, quick blemish relief. Uh, it's got lavender in it, it's got witch hazel. Cinnamon sticks, tree oil, lots of things. It's like a natural acne fighting. Oh, I get hormonal spots here and I get a few like spots here. So I will try that on those. It says gently prone, over zits and zit prone areas. It says to use it two or three times a day. We'll start, we'll probably not do that. But we'll try, maybe in the morning and then in the night, do my chin, because that's my main area where I get spots. So that could be super useful. I will let you guys know how this product works. It also keeps me accountable to using it because I don't use a lot of these products sometimes. I need to get into a better beauty routine. Um, oh, that's exciting. Wow, it's a very skincare box this time. We've got like, except for the hair product, you know, we've got like eyes, we've got acne, we've got like get rid of all dead bits, you know, like 
we've got get rid of blemishes and dirt and things and then we have the like, makeup cleaning. Normally with these boxes there's normally a couple items that you could have had like a different item with like they do some boxes have this and some boxes have that. So let's just consult our handy dandy little card to see what we could have had. Okay so there's two. So the peel pad there was either the it doesn't explain I'm guessing it's just different smells because there's this green one which I have and then there's like a um, can you see like this pink one but it doesn't have like Oh yes it does. I'm just being stupid. It says Berry Good Peeling Pad and this is Superb Herb. So the berry one's probably got more antioxidants in whereas this one's slightly different. Um, I don't really mind which one of those I got. Um, and then this one you could have gotten the Trophy Shine Texture Spray. Uh, win big with Trophy Shine Texture Spray. Add light, slight texture and dry shine. Flexible hold to hair and overall perfecting makes hair look young shiny and lived in uh, spray on to towel dried hair or dry hair and style so this one you use on dry hair whereas the other the champagne one that I have from a few boxes ago you need to do it wet otherwise it's just gonna like clump to your head I found that out the hard way I had like my hair like this and I tried to like juice it and um, didn't work so well. You have to do that one wet, whereas this one's a dry one. Okay, that's useful because then I have the two. Um, and then you could have got this, or you could have got the prep spray, which is probably going to be similar to the champagne one. Prep your hair with one prep spray, a nourishing base coat that will adjust the pH level of hair while helping other products adhere evenly. By helping other, while helping other products appear, uh, adhere. Other products adhere evenly, can be used as a revitalizer, good for detangling and light conditioning. So I am happy with, so I'm happy with both of these products. I also would have been happy with the alternatives, which is rare. Normally I do have a preference, um, but I like this one because again, they're going to do the same thing. Um, I wouldn't have minded the berry one, especially if it was the more antioxidant Based, but this one's also going to be very good and I'm quite happy with that one. This, again, it'll be useful for me because I'm texturing my hair. So yeah, um, I like the fact that the last two boxes have been quite skincare heavy. Um, they do seem to go through phases where like there's more makeup products, then there's more skin products, and then sometimes there's a mix of the two. So I think it's cool that they do mix it up a lot and I think I've said this before because, you know, if it's only makeup products and it's only skincare products, you're going to end up with a giant pile of stuff that you don't use. So I like the fact that they alternate it and they give you products like this and products like this where you use it once and then you either decide you like it or not and you can buy it again because it's obviously got a company on. I like the fact... Excuse me, Crow. I like the fact... Oh, the sun's going away. Bye, sun. Um, yeah, one of my friends suggested using natural light instead of the light panels. So we're trying that out, we're seeing how it works. So no, I like the fact that they use different companies as well. So this is like a new company that they must be working with because I don't recall, might be wrong, them using Dirty Lamb before December's box. But I could be wrong, but I'm excited about this as I was excited about the, I think I'll be checking out their website. It's also glass, so that means, you know, it's more eco-friendly long-term because it's not as much plastic which is great. Favourite products? I think I'm going to go for these two because my skin, as I mentioned last time, has been having a bit of a tantrum since we entered Japan. So I'm looking forward to using this scrub and I'm hoping that, again, if I just put it on my... Again, I'm hoping if I just put this on my um, chin, it'll help with the hormonal acne. So they're my two favourite products. Out of the two, I'm going to go this one because I'm really, really hoping it will be good. So which product did you like the most? Comment down below. It might be different to mine, it might be the same. Do you get a Kinder Beauty box? 
I keep calling it kinder still. It's kinder, kinder beauty, kinder beauty. <sighs> Do you get a kinder beauty box? Uh, did you get different products to me? Which is your favorite? Let me know. Let's start a conversation about it. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.